Hey all, Shawnee Rick here, and the weather is changing. I am gonna show you how to waterproof your Eagle One Pro. So with that said, let's roll the intro, and let's get started. Okay, bolts and the screws to get to are underneath silicone grip tape here. So we're gonna go ahead and Remove this right now. Okay, so we got our grip pad off and it looks like this time Varla has given us Phillips to go ahead and take the uh, top of the battery plate off here. So um, let me go get my drill and let's do that right now. Now that we got the screws out, we're just going to take the bottom edge of my finger and I was just able to pull the plate right up just like so and have full access to the battery. There is a rubber gasket in here, right here. It does go all the way around. Boy, I will say they really have simplified everything. I mean, tucked in there a lot better and a lot cleaner than the Eagle One is. The controller is also tucked in very nicely too and the battery sits in there very nicely. All right, so once we get the kick plate off the top, for the battery compartment, we wanted then to take these four bolts out of the front. So there's also four underneath. That's a nice solid plate they got in front there though. I do like that. I'm gonna turn this back this way. I wanna show you guys this, that right under here, look how open that is once you take the plate off. So if any water were to get past this plate under here, you get all that water is gonna go down into there and it's gonna cause you all kinds of issues. So we're gonna to wanna to silicone this. And we're gonna to wanna to silicone around the top of the rubber gasket here, all the way around and then to go over all the way through here and all the way over the holes and then back out up and around here and all that and then i think that's it i think that is all we will have to worry about all right so we got a little bit of dirt and debris so we're just going to take the vacuum and suck up some of the debris here take my little cloth wipe this off we're going to use the same stuff we did before our clear silicone waterproof sealant that I showed you that we used in the Pegasus video. I'm just gonna do a small bead directly over the whole thing, over the holes to the screws too. And then once that's on there, we can put our plate right back on. That's really how simple this is. And then I'll show you how to waterproof the other parts. So we're gonna put the plate back on. Simple as that. Make sure it's all lined up over the holes. So now let's change camera angle. All right, perfect. So now that we got the camera adjusted, we're gonna put silicone right in here where the wires are going into the battery compartment. And we're gonna make sure that that is siliconed really well to make sure that no water is gonna get in there at all. we got it all sealed and the silicone's down and it's all waterproofed the grip tape silicone padding back on and everybody's probably gonna wonder well what are you gonna use to put that back on since it's not tape underneath and this was the sticky stuff here well I was told to go out and to get the super glue ultra gel control because it does rubber and metal perfectly and it doesn't go on like any average super glue it actually goes on like the silicone that we just put on the scooter it just comes on with a nice bead and you go across the top and then you just push it down and then you wait for it to dry overnight so that's exactly what we're going to do right now mm -hmm. 
Once you apply the super glue, you're going to just lay it back down over it gently. 